Let's say we want to calculate one half times three. We see that the output is a fraction three over two. If we had typed this in as 0 0.5 times three, the output is now a decimal. When you enter in a decimal in the input, this forces the calculator to give a decimal output. We can also force the calculator to give a decimal answer by pressing control enter. We can press the up arrows on our keypad to highlight our earlier work and then press enter to bring it to a new line. If we press control enter, we see that this time we get a decimal answer, even though we didn't enter any decimals in our input. We can change the way the calculator gives the output via the document settings. To access the document settings, we press the home button on the top right of our keypad and then navigate to five settings. You can also press the five on the keypad to take you directly there. And then from there, we want to go to document settings. And again, we can press two to take us directly there. In this menu, there are a few different settings. However, for most calculations and operations, we'll only need to worry about three of these settings. Display digits is where we can change the number of digits the calculator displays. Angle setting, which we'll look at in another video. And calculation mode, which tells the calculator how to give the outputs. The default settings for the TI Inspire 6 CAS2 are float six for display digits, radian for the angle setting, and auto for the calculation mode. Now let's have a closer look at the calculation mode settings. We can get there by pressing tab to tab down that particular box and then press the right arrow to open up that box. There are three settings to choose from. The approximate setting will force the calculator to give decimal answers. The exact setting will force the calculator to give exact answers such as fractions or thirds. The auto setting, which is the default setting, will give exact answers such as fractions or thirds. However, if there is a decimal present in the input, then the calculator will give a decimal answer. In the display digits section, whilst it may seem like we have a lot of choices for display digits, we really only have two kinds of choices, fixed or float. To understand what they do, we'll have a look at a couple of calculations. Let's start with fix three. Once we select fix, fix three, we can press enter. Let's type in 1.1111 plus 2.2222 and press enter. Even though we had four decimal places in each of the inputs, the calculator only gave three decimal places in the output because it is in fix three. Let's see what happens if we change the display digits setting to fix five. We see this time that we get 3.33330 as an answer. So therefore it is showing us five decimal places. The fix option will force the calculator to show that many number of decimal places. For example, if we chose fix six, the calculator will always display six decimal places. Now let's have a look at the float setting. By default, your calculator will be in float six. The float setting will allow the number of decimal places to vary. If we typed in 1.11.1111 plus 2222.22222, as an output, we'll get 333.333. We can still see more decimal places by highlighting the previous output and by pressing enter to bring it down to a new line.